landmines and deployable turrets online. Okay, pack up and regroup at drop site. Roger that. I'm coming in. Hey, call in the thumper. Echo Bravo 984. Extraction site secured. Over. <sighs> That'll keep the bugs out. Approaching drop site. Package in route. on schedule. Good morning, afternoon, good evening, good night. That countdown was felt a little off, but that's just because we haven't had the countdown in a few weeks. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm Fade of Pez. This is Firefall Live. Uh, welcome. I'm so glad you guys could join us this week. Uh, this week, our special guest is giveaways. <laughs> our special guests are uh, racer packs and rocketeer packs. <laughs> Those are our special guests. But I'm joined by JB Will. Um, and we're going to be able? doing some giveaways and probably answering some questions since we, I don't even think we got to answer we questions yeah. in the last, Sean maybe even two much. episodes. I yeah, I mean, that's the yeah. other thing is like, how do you follow up that, you know, Sean being the <laughs> guest? It's like, no one wanted to do it. Everyone needs a break after that. No, yeah, no, no. it's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> as Jersey as, yeah. <laughs> Forget about it. Oh, I apologize for my voice in advance. It's, it's cold <laughs> the best here, of quote guests. unquote. Yay for special guests. The cold chain. <laughs> I also, I left it on my desk at home. I had an Aries pack I was going to bring in, and I was going to be like, oh, secret giveaway Aries yes. pack. And then you ruined it. Yeah, I left it at home. Uh, if you guys want to wait for it, I, uh, we can still give one away, but it'll be... Uh, about back in like eight hours, nine hours before you'll get the code. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> yeah, Fire Life slowly being taken over by plushy brontodons. I know. Yeah, what is this? They do that. They're sneaky little Where did that players. one come from? Which one? This one? Yeah. Uh, this one's been here. Can you do this? <laughs> Apparently oh, not. Boy. Yep, blame me. <laughs> uh, so, why not the shark, Mad Mim? Why not the shark? Yeah. Oh well, the shark was a gift from uh, our friends in Australia. Mm -hmm. That's Chompy. That's Chompy. And, uh, 
We went to PAX Australia. That was a gift. Burn it. <laughs> um, yeah, why are people suggesting I should be, I should have cornrows? That's the second person to suggest I that. Nas. Don't know. <laughs> Shark's confused, thinks it's Bronodon. <laughs> it's a Bronodon of the sea. Maybe it's, it's a fine. land shark. Do, are those still on? Yeah, we still got like the one think, super bug is a land yeah. shark. Are they still actually named land sharks? They might have Probably not. been renamed. It, no, well, he's anymore. got like a special name or something. That's true. But there are like, I think there are other ones, but they're just giant skivers or something. I can't remember. Mm -mm, those are different creatures. Uh, okay. Oh, you're right. They don't, <laughs> they don't have like the claws. Yeah, they actually look like sharks. Anyway. Anyways, so one thing we didn't get to cover last week, but we did last week, was um, we kicked off the new events forum. So right. I didn't thought about it after the show. I was like, shit, we should we, have talked about that. We didn't talk about that at all. So <laughs> um, the prizes are still a work in progress. Um, after readjusting uh, the one for Mother Truckers, mm -hmm. I'm like, hmm, maybe that's a little too much, but I, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now, because I think they got about 50 people signed up for that one. Tomorrow, there's an event for uh, Towers of Power, which is basically the favorite Firefall pastime, <laughs> people stacking on top of each other <laughs> in the game. Uh, it's something that's been around forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, they wanted to make an event for it, so uh, you can check out on the forums. We also have a blog posted, and we posted about it on social media, so... Towers of Power is happening tomorrow at 2 Eastern. Um, there's That's a right. link. I put a, I put a URL in the uh, original post so that you can click on it. It takes you to World Time Buddy. tells you what time it is in your local time. Uh, but it should be uh, a pretty agreeable time for most people. Uh, the winning team, and that's team. So the idea is, the objective is you get, plat you get platoons together. Mm -hmm. And whoever can basically get their platoon to stack every single person into a tower the fastest wins. And I, I'm sure he's going to regulate the platoon sizes and everything, so you can't be like, well, my platoon's two people. <laughs> Done. We win. Prize, Ding. please. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the whole team will win, I think, 40... Each person will win 40 red beans, okay. and each person will also get, I think, it's seven days VIP. Nice. Which is pretty good for trying to stack. Yeah. Um, wow. Let there be light. That just got, that just got kicked. Not be light. Woo. <laughs> um, that's that's tomorrow. Uh, the week after is this one sounds pretty cool, and so many people signed up. I think I don't think he was expecting this, but they're gonna have to do it in heats, basically. Um, but it's the uh, ultimate badass mother, mother truckers. truckers. Yeah. Uh, and basically you take the resource haulers, and it's kind of like Herpet Derby back in the day, but you take the resource haulers and you crash them into each other, and your, your objective is basically to be the last person standing. That one's got uh, more, like, bigger prizes on the line, so first place gets Celestial Wings. Nice. Uh, first and second get a choice of the Snow Squall or Bumblebee MGV. Nice. So first gets the MGV and the Celestial Wings? Yes. So first gets very the MGV cool, and Celestial cool. Wings. It's a hell get, of a prize. Yep. And then third, fourth, and fifth get to choose from the LGVs in the store. So that's, I think, the Zephyr, the Vapor. I don't know why I keep calling the Vespa the Zephyr. I got called out for that. Or the, <laughs> the, the Zephyr, the Vespa. I got called out for that again. I'm like, I got to stop doing that. It's the old name of the dang thing. Mm -hmm. um, or the R54. So you get, like, fourth... Third, fourth, and fifth get, get LGVs, their choice. Um, and first through tenth get 30 days of VIP. Nice. Whole so month. Always. That's going to be really cool. That you can sign up for on the forums as well. You can also check out the uh, events calendar. Uh, we have them listed underneath the uh, calendar image. Is that link you to the blog post or the forum? The forum post. Okay. Because I put that up before the blog post went out. I could, yeah, it probably doesn't matter. They both go to the same place. Yep, you can decide which is better to do, but I guess it probably makes sense to just keep linking to the forum thread because <laughs> otherwise they're just going to link to the blog, which links to the forum thread anyway. So. Uh, uh, yes, I don't know. Uh, that would not be that good. Um, there's another special event that uh, the Masters of Combat are cooking up for the month, the week after. Uh, I don't know if Ravisher wants me to say it. <laughs> 
Uh, but I'm gonna. We anyway. have Teamspeak open. I'm not gonna say it if he doesn't want me to. <laughs> uh, we do have Teamspeak open, and if you know, if he wants to hop on there and tell us ourselves, I mean, we'll we'll, we'll get to you if we see you on there. Um, but he's got a really cool event. They took me through it um, Tuesday, and uh, it's it's really cool. Nice. Ravisher said, mean, "Do it, <laughs> do it." <laughs> shave a JB. So, uh, so shave. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had um, this beard for like five months. It's not like it's <laughs> so basically, and I, I got I can appreciate how much time this that, that got put into this. Uh, and we I think we spoke about doing this internally, like with the community team, like with mm-hmm. our scavenger hunts. I think uh, oh, yeah, Torsten yeah. had like originally proposed some of those, and I think he might have run some of the smaller ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's at work. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to work. <laughs> Wait, we're at work. Shut up. <laughs> so, this event, um, and I don't think we've uh, discussed prizes yet, but this event will take place on the 23rd, I think. Mm-hmm. And what we're, what, what's going to happen is uh, there's going to be event administrators, basically, and, they're gonna, and there's going to be squads. So there's going to be an event administrator in each squad. Mm-hmm. So your, your team is basically going to be four people. And it's going to be like the Amazing Race. So they're going to give you a clue. I think everyone starts in the same place. I think everyone goes through this, you know, the answer, and they'll tell you whether you were right or wrong. Oh, nice. And if you have to move to a certain area, they'll, they'll put a waypoint down, and they won't give you, I guess you can use any at your disposal unless specifically stated otherwise. <laughs> um, but it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be really cool. It's going to be like kind of scavenger hunty. Uh, there's going to be some sort of... Uh, Clues on there's uh, he wants to put clues on the forums as well as clever and there are challenges. The cool the, the other cool part is there are challenges along the way mm-hmm. that that they will issue and if I think um, correct me if I'm wrong but I, th- I think it's uh, each time each member that completes the challenge will be ten seconds off your final time. Nice. That's so cool. yeah, nice. so there will be like little little things you can do and uh, <laughs> Knox and. Hey, if you don't like Facebook, you can make one of your teammates go on there for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, go find the clue. I'm not touching that. <laughs> but what? That's a raccoon, not a, not a red panda, Spoonie. Nice well, try, though. He is a raccoon. No, I, don't, I don't think that's. Well, I don't think that's what it is. No, but. But anyways, that sounds that sounds like a really cool event. Man. Yeah, that's so, gonna be. But, I think that's a really <laughs> awesome event. We're still gonna work on prizing, but mm-hmm. uh, that's that's gonna be the one sponsored for May twenty third. And I am John Galt's event, Save the Rabbit, is also getting picked up. Uh, it looks like everyone's. Uh, we're trying to still. He started out with an idea, which is great on those sub forums. Like this is what I'm proposing, mm-hmm. and he started out with an idea, and there was a discussion about like how to regulate it, how to you know, what exactly you want the rules to be. And it looks like that's solidifying. So I'm, I'm expecting that to come down to, uh, or uh, I think he contacted me about what kind of prizing he should ask for. Uh, I still have to look into that, but we're still working on that. And basically Save the Rabbit is, it's a team duel. One person has a jet ball or omni ball. One person on each team, right? One person on each team has an omni ball, yes. And the, uh, the object is for you to kill their rabbit, the rabbit is the person with the Omni Ball, while protecting yours. Uh, and we're gonna figure out the, uh, the prizing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's gonna be a big, I think like the next couple of months are probably gonna be pretty big for the community. Yeah, really. uh, I think, you know, having these events, like just at least enabling, I'm seeing a lot of cool ideas getting thrown out there. Yeah, it's um, been really, it's been really, awesome to see like all the all the interest that's been pouring out immediately and all the ideas people are coming up with and yeah yeah it's a lot of fun i think Go um, community. <laughs> i think what i what i need from you guys though um when you're posting events is to tell me when you want to run them mm-hmm. and that way i could be like cool sponsored you know i just i just want to get in there and be like i love this idea you have a date you have you have a plan i'm going to give you prizes um i'd rather not police your ideas Mm -hmm. um, just because it's kind of your thing and when it comes down to it even if we don't sponsor we can still schedule it and post and let people know about the event Mm -hmm. 
but if you guys come to me with a date, like that'll get you prizing way faster. Like if you're just like, I'm doing it on this day at this time, you know, it, and that'll that'll get you. So, <laughs> oh, excuse me, it's it's awful today. <laughs> we had a nice downpour last night. Yeah, Oof. rained hard for like so 10, good. 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean the grass almost here. got green. Yeah, <laughs> it's impressive. Um, I think that's why my throat's all jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine is mine is pretty gross this morning too. <laughs> yes, Red Vest Programmer is working on L LFG. Go programmer. Yeah. All right. There's 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 a spoiler. Bing. Um, yeah, yeah, I think the for, I think the initial parts of the, the new one is on PTS, right? I think. I'm I not think. sure. I'm not. If I remember correctly, the like first parts of the new LFG is on PTS, but it's far from far from complete there, obviously. But. The <laughs> Nox and you, you troll. <laughs> Pez tomorrow I'll run an Ares mission, and I feel I'll win. I'd like forty red beans, please. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm not even gonna Denied. post about that on social media. We need to, we need a tag that's just nope on the forums. <laughs> we have it denied, but I like nope more. <laughs> I, I think some people would take that the wrong way. Probably <laughs> true. Probably true. But I I don't think that's a good idea at all. Actually, <laughs> no Aries five five. Not there aren't recent changes on the test, but I'm pretty sure the new the new LFG has been on PTS since the last build that we put up. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think a lot of that stuff's still a work in progress. Oh yeah, absolutely. So. I think it even says like it, it's like three tabs, and two of the tabs are still like coming soon or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I hope people are saying the event forum section is a great idea. It's been a long time coming. I think people have been asking for mm -hmm. it for like three years at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> I think it's cool because it'll at least, like, even if we, like I said, even if we don't sponsor your event. So um, one of the things I'm already considering about sponsorship, like like. Oh my God! How are we going to scale this? If like people want to, if like tons and tons of people want to do events, and we're getting big turnouts, mm -hmm. how do we want to scale this? So we might have to limit the amount we sponsor per week, which is why I think it's good if you post a date, and then I'm like, hey, something something's already going on on that day. Would you mind moving it, kind of thing? So that mm -hmm. way we actually get like a nice long schedule going, mm -hmm. and then we get you know consistent events happening throughout the time. Instead yeah, of just like one weekend, eight events, yay! Yeah. And, then and if you're not nothing. okay with it, then we'll still push it, but. Yeah. Um, we won't. We probably won't sponsor it. Uh, the other thing is, yeah, I don't. I I really don't want to see events coincide on the same day, because mm -hmm. that would kind of that wouldn't be that fun right now. I mean, you just we're trying. To, we're probably pushing like two events at the same time. They should. They should all happen uh, separately. At least the ones that we're sponsoring. If you want to hold the event the exact same time that the Amazing Race is going on. Uh, <laughs> have fun. You are welcome. To. You're welcome to, but um, we we'd like to only uh, push one event per day. I mean, and again, it might be limited to the amount per week based on how much it scales and how popular it is. We're still working out the pricing, how the pricing model works. I'm keeping track of all that stuff, so I could say if we need to like tone it back a little bit or we can ramp it up a little bit. But they are on the the calendar page. They're on the calendar page. Like, yeah, there's the there's the calendar at the top, which has like the live events on it, <laughs> and then there's the community events thing underneath it, and they they're listed in there. And the reason to do that is because then you can click on it and go straight to the post, and also just to kind of keep a little bit of separation between like official stuff and sponsored stuff. The amazing be... racists. Oh, jeez, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. So yeah, a lot of lot of really cool. Yep, and uh, we're putting them on Facebook and Twitter. Scott dude actually went ahead and made a nice little image for events. Yeah. So that's it'll get you'll you'll get Twitter notifications as well from Firefall about a community run event. And again, these are community run. Uh, we're trying to make sure that people are outlining clearly what the rules are for their events, mm -hmm. uh, and that. Um, you know, they're that the rule the rules are clear and they're fair with the with uh, who wins. And I'm pretty sure we'll hear about it if someone <laughs> is unfairly awarded a prize. I'm sure the prizes the prizes are given out by us. So it's the um, you can't 
like they, they, like the event coordinators actually don't have the prizes to give out. Mm -hmm. They're going to be reporting back on the the rules are on the forums. I want them to report back like this is who got first place, this is who got second, et cetera, et cetera. If that's if the placing thing is thing, or like here's the list of the winning team mm -hmm. for Towers of Power, for example. Uh, and we're giving out the prize because we don't want people to be cheated. Is the other yeah. thing. Uh, and I'm sure we'll hear about it when someone is cheated. I don't think any of the event coordinators that post no, yeah. stuff right now uh, would cheat anyone um, based on their their reputation. But um, we are that is kind of like a little measure in, we're putting in place so that to make sure that um, the event coordinators are kind of held accountable to keeping their events fair. Mm -hmm. And if someone's you know has a track record of not making fair events, like. One, two, three strikes, you're out. Like, no more. I might even just be like, you can't even post in this forum anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ever going to start Lost in New Eden again? Oh, my God. I want to. Yes. I still need to get the streaming room set up over here. I need, this, I need to set this thing up. I say every week, I'm like, i got to set this thing up. And then tons of things come up. Yep. That'll happen. <laughs> um, but, yes, um, I, I, I loved Lost in New Eden because it always put it pit two people together. And we made a competition out of like anything, <laughs> and Thumper Chicken is still my favorite. Thumper Chicken, although you, Thumper Chicken, like I think you can, I don't think it works anymore. Oh really? That's well, funny. I mean, you could drop a thumper, but you'll live through it. Uh, Scary. Yeah, we've actually we've talked about that on the forums. Um, we we are we are discussing bringing back live events. Um, we don't, you know, we don't necessarily have time to work on new ones right now. As we said, the, well, you know, we still have a live team. Obviously, in fact, it's grown if I remember correctly. But uh, right yeah, pretty, but uh, a lot of them are helping out working on the new content and stuff like that. Um, but we're going to be looking at the old uh, live events we have and just going over them, making sure they're okay, and see if we can bring any of those back. So that's absolutely a conversation we've been having. Yeah, that's the that's the big thing is we want QA to test it because mm -hmm. we don't want it to come back and like break things like not only be broken in its own but also yeah. break things like we yeah. just want to make sure that you know the event works it's not breaking anything else so we have to go through the process for that mm -hmm. um but speaking of this is what dragonfly weekend yes this weekend uh i had a chat with a friend on TeamSpeak, and he said he asked me um hey how come you guys don't do krista like Please, can we have one Christite weekend? At least one. Really? And next weekend is Christite weekend. Bonus Christite weekend. Bam. So, not this one, no, but next weekend. Bonus Christite weekend. So, save up all your stuff. And, uh... And I believe yeah. that's... I believe it's only Christite that you pick up from loot drops or mission rewards. It might also work on salvage. It did at one point. I don't know if it... I feel like that was fixed a while ago. It's been a while since we've done a Chris Tite weekend, so I don't <laughs> It's been a sure. while. I feel it, like that was changed at, at some point, but I could be incorrect. We can double check and make sure. But. I don't know if we're if uh, Chris Tite weekend's going to get cycled in, but mm -hmm. I asked the uh, I asked the live team lead, uh, or at least the live team lead designer, and mm -hmm. uh, she's, she agreed, so that's cool. Yeah. So. There's a lot of excitement for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, chests. Anything that you pick up off the ground, it will uh, it'll boost. Um, but yeah, we need another chosen red five versus dev community. I know. Um, Ghost Jaguar has actually been like playing around with the chosen. Mm -hmm. So he just kind of does it in his free time. <laughs> 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 yeah, he he kind of just like tinkers with them every now and then. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny because uh, I think. Bludge still has chose like the chosen on his mm -hmm. account. We we took it off everyone because we don't want people to abuse it and wreck people's days on uh, like <laughs> on average. So um, I think Bludge still has it though, but I have a different one and I have the tinkered one. Oh really? Yeah, I have nice. the one where you can actually choose which faction. Like so, you you hit the polymorph and you choose which faction you go on. Mm -hmm. We well, actually the community team might all have this one. We and probably do. I think. So. You remember. just kind of like stay human. So like I'm the chosen in the mentor war paint with like stretched up in my human head when I pick a cord faction. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of you guys might have seen this, but I was like in Devil's Tusk one day and it was just dropping bifolds and uh, incursions. <laughs> 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 I was like a little mini event, and I actually did that inside uh, Trans Hub yesterday or the day before yesterday. <laughs> so you drop, <clears throat> do you drop incursions inside Trans Hub? 
No, the incursions wouldn't spawn, but the bifolds would. So the bifolds were coming down. <laughs> but we wouldn't want people to grief players with it or anything like that. I mean, I, could, I, I grief responsibly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I feel like we should put, put together a PSA video about that. Grief responsibly. You know what? Uh, we have five giveaways, and we haven't given away a single thing. Oh, yet. yeah. That's a thing. should probably do that. <laughs> <laughs> what should the first keyword be? Um, and this this giveaway is this one has to be Twitch, I believe. So I think. Yeah, we'll do we'll do one on uh, we'll do one on YouTube as well. We'll do the we're gonna do the first one on Twitch. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then we'll figure out how to do one on for YouTube uh, our YouTube viewers as well. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you guys want to go from YouTube and check out Twitch chat, although mm -hmm. I know that there's some difficulty in between the two. Yeah, so we'll try to hit YouTube too, but we have a go. So <laughs> keyword. Uh, what were we just talking about? Race. Race? Race. Race. As in the amazing fireball race. Race. R-A-C-E. Keyword is race. Scott in. Go do the thing. <laughs> no. He types from his phone. Uh, Seagar, I, that, that was on live. I was just, like, dropping bifolds. And mm -hmm. I think when I picked um, Chosen Faction, players could shoot me. I don't have a weapon. <laughs> So it's it's not it's not it's not a complete thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't have a weapon. I'm sitting there trying to melee people, and that wasn't working. <laughs> just punch. It's just like, whoop. hey, whoop. come on, it's stop it. Like, yeah, it's like, it, no, you're not taking any damage, and everyone's like turrets are going nuts. <laughs> and <laughs> the um, I don't know. It was it was a lot, it was really cool, but I could at least drop bifolds everywhere. Mm -hmm. And if I stay as uh, the humanoid version, then I'm not aggro to players. And I can still drop bifolds, which are on the chosen faction. Mm -hmm. And they'll aggro players. So um, it was like a good half hour that one time in Devil's Tusk where just like dropping stuff. And there are certain areas where you can drop the incursions where those will come down. So I had like two of those going, dropping bifolds left and right. I think it was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> Fez trolls people. That's fun. so funny story. Uh, we'll, we'll pick the winner right after this. Um, so funny story about that. Uh, I was milling around the game yesterday, again in Devil's Tusk, just running around killing stuff, doing Ares missions. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> some player... <laughs> so as you know, the, the, the executioners or the uh, death squads in, in um, Devil's Tusk happen quite frequently. Yes. So one guy, <laughs> or one person rather, was like, I think Red 5 just likes to see me die. It's like, <laughs> I just had, uh, I just had uh, so many death squads spawn on me, and I was like, well, and he didn't know I was in the chat. It was like, I was in the server, so I was just like, well, I may or may not have been watching. <laughs> right? And it was just like, through this whole thing, and it's just like, and someone was actually like, wait, so Red 5 just, like, kills their players they just like yes. spawn things they just pod you and like like no i can't do that <laughs> no. but i wanna i do want to sometimes <laughs> <laughs> all right who are we picking for a winner here let's do it sky dude's got this is that actually hit the no that's not there, it. yeah that yeah that <laughs> nope nope incogni <laughs> Incogni. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. Incogni. <laughs> uh, the first winner was Nasters. You don't get to win. Yes. Um, Incogni, you get to win... Um, Racer or Rocketeer, right? Racer or Rocketeer. So send us a message, R5 Studios, on Twitch, and tell us Racer or Rocketeer, and we'll respond with the code, the corresponding code, anyway. Mm. <clears throat> I wonder what Red Bean gives you, Octane or Nitrine? Hmm. Mm, I think it's raiding. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nasser's not allowed to win. So, yeah, I mean, a little story in there. People, uh, if you guys want to hop on TeamSpeak, we got that going on. That's live.red5studios.com. Uh, I haven't checked if some of you are on there. I'm on there. Spanish is here. I think it was Spanish that told me to have a Chris Day weekend. <laughs> Spanish. 
Hi. Hi. How's it going? Hey. Fine, thanks. Guys. Cool, cool. No cool. Got him, Frank. Frank. Yep. I got him. You get him. Good. All right. We're good. <laughs> How you doing today? How you doing today, Spanish? What can we do for you? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for the initiative for the Christide weekend. Yeah, man. And <laughs> hi to all from Spain. Hi to all the Farfalians. <laughs> hi back. <laughs> yeah, I I wish make uh, a little feedback uh, for this weekend. Yeah, it's about uh, the mechanic of the game for leveling system is cool, but is very easy soluble. And I think the game is generating uh, solo players. But in the other side, we find at the end uh, game content that the play style should be more cooperative, like Warfront that needs 10 to 20, Titans 10 to 20, Hardcore mm -hmm. Dailies. And also, uh, we find that uh, the armies is like just a social uh, stuff, you know, for the game. People don't find a real reason to join the the army. So my point is that I I don't understand how the end game is uh, focused on cooperative play style, but most of the way to max a level is soluble. So I don't understand if you at some point are thinking about army stuff, you know, something that uh, make the gamers uh, get like a wolf pack mind, you know, or a brotherhood, something like that. Yes, mm -hmm. um, that's actually feedback uh, I hear a lot mm -hmm. from uh, talking to or speaking with armies and uh, army officers um that's that's absolutely a problem we wish to solve that's probably not going to be um soon as in like when we when we drop all these pts changes because there's just so much work to do mm -hmm. and that is a giant project but you're right it is very necessary uh army to us army is an important social feature it's not just uh, a chat channel that you share with, uh, you know, a private chat channel that you share with people. It should be a social feature, and there should be uh, reasons to be in an army. So um, that's definitely uh, on our list of things to tackle. It's mm -hmm. not, um, that's not something we, we would like to ignore. And our armies, we recognize armies are very important. And like, when it really comes to MMOs, it's like really the social thing that really keeps people in there more than I feel like even more than the content. Like the reason why I play, I would play an MMO so for so long is because my friends are there, and there's things for us to do as a group and grow as a group. Mm. Um, so I think that I think that that's important, and we we're it's something we're definitely going to be paying attention to. Yeah, and one of the things we talked about too, with uh, like particularly with the combat changes and things like that, is one of the things that we're trying to do is emphasize kind of the more cooperation and emphasize the strengths of the different battle frames so that it's, you're rewarded more for for playing together with different you know with a different variety of frames and things like that and then we also have more uh, more group based content in the operations you know, if we'll have three new co operations coming out that are specific they're not army content but they're supposed to be for five people um, you know and then they don't scale down so you, so uh, so they're not soloable content well I'm sure someone will play yeah. no, actually I think you actually have to have at least two people to even queue for it but PvP on the arc light. I was just bring that up every time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely okay. So, yeah. so thank you very much. Uh, I know you are uh, working a lot of things. Just I won't uh, put on the table this this idea because you know, for for people that are uh, focused on the army contents and mm -hmm. creating webs and all this kind of stuff, yeah, will be mm -hmm. very important that the game at some point focus also on the army content. So thank you very much. Thanks, man. And thank and that's all. Have a good weekend. You too, you too. man. Thanks for coming. No one else wants to join us in chat. Or TeamSpeak. Live.red5studios.com, right? Oh, I always side. get the wrong way. I know, it's because we're like mirrored cameras, but... Over Pez there. Pets. Over there. Uh, 
Ooh, I think there's a copyright on that. Pez pets. Not mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably true. There's 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 more people. It's, <laughs> it's only 15 people on YouTube. You're but asking for another going on. Play. It's, there's, it's two two streams. <laughs> yes. Uh, to those of you chatting on YouTube, they, it seems like we're largely waiting. Well, I mean that makes sense. We're largely waiting for our next major update more information mm -hmm. although we are dual streaming we're on two we're on two channel channel simultaneously yeah. so and we generally have a lot more viewers on twitch than youtube so that's where we started yep mosh pit torch Woo. oh we got to make that happen <laughs> mosh pit torch. we got to make that happen doesn't have quite the same ring to it but it sounds like fun we so get, we should we, we should do a Scott giveaway torch. A Scott for torch. Uh, the youtubes mm. a scott torch yeah I guess it'd be a scat torch. A scat torch? Yeah, well, a scat is like... Yeah, I know what a scat is. is. Okay. <laughs> I know it's not... I know you didn't mean the dirty version either, I know. No, I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not even that dirty. But anyway. Chosen sniper! <laughs> Did you hear that? No. You didn't hear the chosen sniper? No. What? <laughs> oh, What's I didn't happening? share that with you. I gotta send that to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to go to YouTube. I like the odds. Yes. <laughs> you can bring a t-shirt to do a giveaway. Nasters, if you want to bring a t-shirt on the set, that's fine. <laughs> can I win? I want to win it. Why does it say your comments are too short? Maybe because your comments are too short, Noxon. Just think about that. <laughs> I don't know. I guess YouTube might have a limit on a <laughs> lower limit. I don't know. All right, so we're going to do a giveaway on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, we'll do a giveaway for the YouTube viewers there, the guys that have been... Uh... <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, the quality's way better over here. <laughs> <laughs> By everyone, you mean programmer. Well, that's because we're streaming at 1080 <laughs> on YouTube, but 720 on Twitch. I think, I could be mistaken, but I think Twitch, last I checked, only supports up to 720. Mm. You can't say two-letter comments. Got it! Um, what should we make them type? All 20 of you. Yes. <laughs> Something that's only two letters. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I forgot what we were just talking about again. What were we talking about? I don't know. You were talking about the Chosen Sniper song. Sniper. Chosen Sniper. Chosen Sniper. Chosen Sniper. You can make it one word or two. We'll just sit there and pick a random name because I don't think YouTube has a giveaway plug-in. <laughs> Randomize that shit, Scott, dude. Woo! Yeah, just, just, just like, <laughs> just press randomize on. <laughs> Don't care. Yeah, there we go. People are getting it through. <laughs> Whatever. No, no, people are doing it on. Twitch. This is, this is a. Twitch is. Damn it, Twitch. All right, we'll. we'll Whatever. We'll pick one from each side. You can do one from each? All right, fair enough. But we have to set up the giveaway on the Twitch side first, so. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's, fine. Does, that's what everyone's it, it doing. So yeah, I guess. <laughs> double chances. Woo! So your people on Twitch might need to check so it someone, again. Someone listened to that. They're like reeks of deal. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Holy damn! I hope I hope it should. <laughs> so good. I made Bludge listen to it. He's been working. I mean, really, all of Tech Ops has been working like crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's like, man, that made my day. One day you're gonna have a keyword. I'm positive that at some point in the past we've had a key have had Waffle as the giveaway keyword. You know what? That day will be today. We will make that right, the enough. next one. It has to have happened at some <laughs> point, though. Let's be. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> So YouTube winner, Hydro, uh, email community at red5studios.com, and let me know if you want a racer or rocketeer. Nailed it. Congratulations, Hydro, from the YouTube side. It's Kill Switch Engage. Yeah. It's, it's, his name's in there. It's like underscore Hydro wait, underscore. Wait. No, yeah, I saw him. Yeah, he was up there. I know. No, Brad was asking. Oh. 
And uh, for Twitch, Epic Dark Shadow. Yeah, yeah, an easy Epic one to read. Dark Shadow. Send us a message on Twitch, mm -hmm. so I know the difference, if you want a racer or a rocketeer. So YouTube winners, send us an email, community at red5studios.com, which is hydro, yep. Hydro, email community at red5studios.com. And tell me if you want a racer or a rocketeer pack. Mm -hmm. um, question for the community. Do you guys want me to give away an Aries pack, even though you'd have to wait until potentially tomorrow to get your code? The Aries pack has... Oh, and we discontinued these mm -hmm. a long time ago. Real quick, Hydro, Hydro, just send us an email, community at red5studios.com. Shoot us an email with whether or not you want a Rocketeer or a Racer pack, and we'll get it to you. Yeah, can we, we'll type it out and to yeah, you. Brad yeah, we're type typing it, it out to you right cool. now. Um, anyway, sorry. Continue. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Where was I saying? Okay, so the Aries pack, uh, it was a $100 value, so it comes with a grip of beans. Mm -hmm. It comes with uh, the Copa Arc Porter, if you don't have that. Comments can't contain links, man. Rip. <laughs> so if you don't have that, it has the Copa Arc Porter. It has, I think, uh, a hat, a face mask. I want to uh, say it has ear gear. I've, it's all on the back of the card. Yeah. Uh, a it's decal been, and a, a title. A and a war paint. The Ares war paint. Mm -hmm. uh, and you get the Ares LGV. The K, that's the K-12, I think. Yes, I believe. Um, I mean, really, you, you, I don't think we have this stuff available anywhere else right now. Nope. Um, and you also get stuff. a permanent 10% XP boost, and your oh, squad yeah. mates get a 5% XP boost whenever they're squatted with you. So, and you get the title Beta so. Commando, even though, like I said, this is an <laughs> old, I think this was it's our old, open beta old pack. School. Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds right. So, if you guys want, we can give one away, we'll do that. Uh, probably in between do you even art bro and caption this mm -hmm. see if anyone's let's, let's, <laughs> let's grab some people here oh, we, have people. we have some people I am All John right. Galt is, has joined us hey John the proposer guys. of save the rabbit <laughs> Yes, yes, save all the rabbits. You know, Pez, you played Tribes, too. You remember the I remember rabbit team, mode. I remember rabbit, team rabbit. It's good stuff, Oh, man. yeah. Um, so I was talking to Ghost Jaguar in chat just a moment ago about his live stream that he's supposed to do, and he says to blame you because you don't have the <laughs> streaming room set up yet. That is correct. Yep. I am missing a monitor. Well, you should get on that because I'm really interested <laughs> in that stuff. I know, uh, you know, it's, it's really cool um, that I think it was um, Aaron, one of our world builders, said mm -hmm. that uh, after he saw Derek do his stream, he was like, oh, that's cool, I want to do that. <laughs> uh, and I think world, world building would be really cool, yeah. like, interesting to watch. Yeah, well, I'm kind of an amateur. You know, I mess around in the new Unreal Engine, and I've been a fan of UDK, so it's mm -hmm. really interesting to me, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's really fun. It's really cool to watch, even for me like internally like i don't go see what those guys do all the time so it's i definitely love to do more Take streams like that monitor i think he needs it <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to nah. be fine no but anyway i just wanted to say that and i also wanted to say thank you very much for the community events forum i think that that's a really good thing and uh i yeah. hope it goes forever more yeah, yeah you know if, if it feels like i i feel like this is a really good um initiative for the community mm -hmm. itself because it's basically enabling you guys to you know create more fun stuff for you guys mm -hmm. so and, yeah and you know, thank community you for, building thank you for starting the conversation about it on yeah. powerful live a couple weeks ago because that's <laughs> really yeah, I mean, what this led is, to this it, is so. a suggestion by you guys you know we we, we could we figured we can make it work uh and uh it's definitely gonna work yeah well, and I also wanted to say that I've played through on the PTS secretly. I've been playing on the PTS, checking out all the new stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I just had kind of a little question. I mean, so far I'm digging the content. It feels a lot better playing Firefall through the leveling process. But the question I kind of had was, I noticed that when you start, you know, your new player experience and you start playing through the core missions and all that stuff, the... Um, the leveling process seems really sped up and linear. So the question I have is, that's good, but is that going to make 
uh, the rest of the content irrelevant? Will you be able to level at that rate every single frame that you choose to level, or is that going to carry through the entirety of Coral Forest, Sertile, and Devil's Tusk that way? I think um, that's th those are those are very good questions. I think that um, the way it's supposed to be set up is that you can play through the same stuff again on multiple frames. So so basically, if you unlock your next Accord frame. You'll start at 10, so you don't have to go through that MPE mm -hmm. again. So we'll assume that you already know how to use your jump jets and interact with things. Uh, <laughs> with the level 40 frame, I, I, I'd hope. <laughs> I would, would hope. Yeah. I'd hope. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but um, yeah, I think it should it should probably mirror the same kind of pace. And from what I can tell, there's still dynamic events around. That yeah. if you didn't want to do core missions, like you still have like the super bugs and stuff, you can go around and kill. Yeah, I think it's still being tweaked somewhat. And if I if I remember the original conversations, the intent is for it to slow down a little bit later. Um, yeah, I mean like, it's, it's it's really. I mean that's the one thing is we're getting a lot of feedback. It's really, really fast. Right fast. Yeah. Much. Um, that, yeah. But again, work in progress. <laughs> there's there's tuning to be done yet, but. Don't know well, the thing that, that was kind of concerning me about it was not the fact that it was, you know, that fast or anything, but it was how it would be competitive with, like, Ares jobs or uh, other missions. You know, if it's mm -hmm. super fast to just play through the story campaign, which I think it's awesome that we actually have a really good story campaign now, but I don't want it to, you know make the jobs irrelevant because no, well don't do jobs that's stupid because you can level twice as fast by doing the campaign or whatever yeah that's absolutely yeah. feedback that we've gotten and yeah well yeah know. that's something we'll, we'll have to look at don't all right well that's it guys that. thank you very much Ooh, thank you thanks man a cosmetics cannon <laughs> in-game cosmetics cannon there you go speaking of cosmetics cannons uh, Nasters actually came from the other building and threw us these. I don't know if you can see that. They're front and back. <laughs> these are old school. Well, they're not old school. I don't think they're, we've yeah, actually given these away. Did, did we give these away at PAX? I don't think so. Last think year, we PAX just had Prime? the logo shirts, if I remember correctly. Did we give those ones away? I don't think we had the I think it was just a straight ones. logo, right? Yeah. Pretty sure it was a straight logo. It was like this, it was like this, like, thinner material, but... I don't want to see Pez shirtless. Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are these are really cool shirts. So apparently we have three of them. Apparently. Apparently. There. Apparently. Uh, Drake eighty four PL. It's it's funny. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but uh, first. Pretty sure it's something like. Are that. Are you sure? First. No. Uh, the 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 gentleman that won the. Uh, <laughs> The Do You and Art Bro contest that we finally, please, he sent me so many messages like, uh, I didn't get my stuff yet. I'm like, I'm, I'm waiting for the shirts. Blame Pez. Man. Blame Pez. Like, I, I, well, we were in a transition. Like, I think uh, a ton of posters got <laughs> thrown out and it was just like, I was like running around trying to yeah. find things. Yeah, when yes. we were doing it, it was like, oh yeah, we've got this stack of like a thousand posters. So I found one fine, of these and, and I, I sent I sent them one of these. I sent them a hoodie. I, there's some other things in there. There's like um, signed poster. The signed posters in there. Uh, there's from when we went to G Star 2011. There's a Firefall USB hub. Oh, you sent him one of the USBs. Nice. I don't think anyone has these. No, yeah, <laughs> like no one even in the office like the even only knows time what I they ever, are at this point. Yeah, the only time I had ever seen it is on your desk. <laughs> What size are these shirts? Um, I think this one's a small, but I'm sure we have other sizes. We might have other sizes. We'll work with you Doesn't on that. Doesn't necessarily have to be these three exact shirts. It's not like we can just kind of throw <clears> them <throat> to you through the camera. Yeah. So this might be a small as well. We'll figure it out. Toys. So <clears throat> does that have to be this size, Steven? Do you know what sizes we Take have? them back. He's just looking at me like... <laughs> Super helpful. We have all sizes? All we have the all sizes. Si we have well, most of the sizes. I would <laughs> Several imagine. of the sizes, at least. All right. <coughs> Do you have a Pez size? I have one of these. I don't know where it is. I have one. <laughs> Nowhere to Pax Prime. I don't think... We don't have... 
any official word. Uh, yeah, but. Drake, I, I did. I. Oh, what? What? Oh. We're not giving we're that away. We're things thrown at us. What is happening? We're, yeah, now we're just getting things thrown at us. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Why? Do, this is not um, a trend I like. I don't like it. Yeah, Drake, I, I saw that, and uh, I did remember, and like week after week, we were just looking up. <laughs> I'm getting a skateboard thrown at us next. Uh, Does anyone have a car they'd like to hurl? Before you know it, Cream's bike is just going to come Yeah, Cream's, Cream's bike is just going to come in and decapitate us. Live on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> there's no dump button. There's no delay. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, Drake, uh, I did remember. It was something I've been working on, but it's not... Um, we were trying to hunt down all the things. Uh, so... Uh, I threw in some extra stuff. And you know, like those little Aries key card USB drives we have, the 16 giggers? Let's not throw that's scissors. Yeah, that's, let's not. That's, those are... that's a bad choice. That's, that's, <laughs> that, that ain't it, man. Please, that ain't it. Plus, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> Michelle, stop helping him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, anyways, so how should we give away these shirts? I don't know. Uh, I know Domopoy, they are throwing them at us. Ridiculous. That'll happen. <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. So we have Cloud XD with us. <laughs> Two five. Don't don't shoot. Maybe. Oh. Hello, Cloud XD. Or Cloud. Oh, hello. Uh, what's up, Cloud? How's it going? I remember um, Cloud from the just... 8-bit stream for the... Uh... Hey. 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 <laughs> That's right. What's going on? Man? I was actually going to ask about PAX Prime. PAX Prime. Mm -hmm. So um, we're working on our travel arrangements right now. Mm -hmm. The community team you should be going. going. Yes, yes. We, have, we, have our, we have our passes. Uh, community team should be going. Um, is there going to be a meetup? We're still working that out. At the very Hopefully. least, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys know that, hey, we're going to be at a bar and yeah. come hang out. Or we're going to go have lunch over here, come hang out kind of thing. So mm -hmm. we'll at the very least hang out and chat. And uh, right. I'm going to try and get some swag to bring. All right, because I still have my uh, Fireball poster from a couple years ago from PAX East hanging on my wall. Oh, nice. damn. So, Maybe we'll bring some yeah. of these shirts. That we were I haven't played in a while, but I miss it. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, um, how do you think we should give these shirts away? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Cloud. Bye. Hey, Baron. Hey, good evening. Congratulations on last week. Yeah. Yeah, I was on the round, and I saw the review, <laughs> review, and then I said, oh, my God, I won. Everybody voted for me, and I have to say thank you to everybody. Everybody, yeah. really, thanks a lot. That's the one we made the community all vote, right? Yep, and they all voted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was fairly unanimous. That's right. It was uh, an honorable heart rubbing uh, moment. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I'm here, I'm here to really say the events uh, channel in the forums is really good. Thank you a lot for doing that. Awesome, man. And, uh, I've got... One little question: If we succeed at organizing an army PvP championship, can you guys be the prize, like be the dev team to have the winners fight against? Can we be the prize? Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, we just I mean, have to figure it out. I'm sure we could get volunteers from. The group <clears throat> from the yeah, I mean, yeah, that that, that 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 shouldn't be difficult. We can get volunteers, and I can force the community team to do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's set in stone. Let's get this organized. Like, and, uh... I'm sure programmer would be all over that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a cool idea. Baron, how should we give these shirts away? Uh, oof, I don't know. Maybe do a tiki dance and then... Uh, <laughs> I don't really don't know. Uh, well, <laughs> that didn't turn out so hot last time. <laughs> <laughs> do we need to let the devs win? Yes, Kuro. Our family is watching. Must. My family watches. Yeah. Make that the, the sentence to write. <laughs> Make the devs win. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Cloud. My donation to Able Gamers. That was... I came in and I was just like, eh, let's just give them money. 
I started donating to so I was watching 8 bit stream and they were doing able gamers mm -hmm. and uh, I just started like donating things like um, in the name of Ethan's lamp and Ethan's beard. Oh, you have things to do? Oh, it's five till. We still have stuff to give away, and no one can figure out how to give it away. <laughs> Make him ride Tiki Dance. Nope. You get the, <laughs> you go in timeout for that for seeing that second time. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> do a form giveaway. Um, we could do a form giveaway of some sort. Why don't we give away one on the show, and we'll give away one on the forums. And uh, we'll do two on the show. Two All on right. The show. So, do one for Twitch, one for YouTube, or something. Or? Yeah. And the keyword is going to be waffle. I promised. <laughs> waffle. Can you do the giveaway thing from there? I can put the keyword in. Okay. <laughs> nice. Today's show yeah. is going to be long. Nah, we'll we're, do, we're, we're almost done. We'll do both. So waffle on both platforms. Waffle on both. Yep. Waffle. <laughs> Bacon is not waffle. Silly madman. We already are doing that, Seeger. Yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, the, from what I understand, YouTube's like uh, I think further behind Twitch. Ah, uh, okay. Waffle. <laughs> bacon. Bacon does go with waffles. I didn't say bacon and waffle. Bacon was bad. Mm -hmm. The bacon is not waffles. Yes, Firefly Live is also streaming on YouTube. We've been doing that for the past month or so. A few weeks. Sometimes. A few weeks. Successfully, more successfully than others. It's basically so we can Pancakes. have Pancakes. That's not how you spell waffle. <laughs> Pancakes are delicious, but. All right, give me a winner for uh, Twitch. The winner for YouTube is uh, Bithenteria. Bithenteria. Yes. Oh, nice. Sagmore from Twitch. Nice. So is, is winning a T-shirt. Nice. Uh, if you guys want to get to us and let me know uh, your shirt sizes, yeah. we'll get the we'll get those sent out to you. Nice. Um, so why don't we hit up uh, Do You Even Art Bro? Mm -hmm. And then we'll give away, we'll rapid fire three packs to give away. Four. Because we're going to put the Aries in there. All right. So, yeah. Twitch. Do you even art? Bro. Terry on YouTube, send us an email, community at red5studios.com with your shirt size. And then tag more on Twitch. Just shoot us a Twitch message, R5 Studios, with your shirt size. <laughs> um, so every, every, every week we like to show off some fan art. Uh, and we, we try to make a little competition of it. Uh, we're keeping it really loose this year. Um, but this year, this week, we have uh, some really cool stuff. I think the first one is from Mad Men, I believe. Yeah, yep. it is. <laughs> ch 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 ya <laughs> <laughs> ch, ch ch chosen by Mad Men. I think we spotlighted this on Facebook uh, mm -hmm. a little bit ago. Very well done. <laughs> I do <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> I'm a fan. And Chia Pets, it's so... And then, uh... <laughs> brings me back. Yeah, that one's... Mad Men is extremely talented, I mm -hmm. think. Uh, one of my favorite fan artists. Uh, next up, we have... Red Pod. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Just a Tube. I was gonna guess that that was a <laughs> Just a <the> Tube submission. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, and last but not least, I think it's another image. We're going to show off 5-5 five, five stuff next week. This is from yeah. Dropdown. Um, now, this isn't... Nice. I think he took this before uh, we actually launched. Really? But I think this is a, this really... is a really awesome screenshot of a hisser. And yeah, it is. You have no idea how hard it is to take a quality screenshot. <laughs> Particularly of, like, I mean, moving things and... Yeah, animations. especially when we have, like, the, the spitting VFX and everything. Mm -hmm. He got that looking really cool, and it's a, it's a really, really nicely taken screenshot there. By Dropdown. Very nice, very so, nice. So, 
who do you think we should give this week to? Hmm. Mm. I think right. I'm gonna vote for Madman, but I like the uh, the ch 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 chia. Brad, who's doing? Ch ch chia. Which one? Which one are you voting for? You didn't see him. Michelle, did you see him? Uh, Michelle's voting for Mad Mims too. I'm gonna vote for Mad Mims. You rebel, you. Damn it! <laughs> Got me. Breaking the trends. A lot of people saying Mad Mim. <laughs> vote for drop down. <laughs> nice. All right. All right. Congratulations, uh, Mad Mim. Very nice. So why don't we do? Um, we have three more packs to give away. We'll do four, three choices of Racer and Rocketeer, and one Ares. So why don't we do two uh, Racer and Rocketeer on YouTube, and the Racer Rocketeer plus Ares on thing. Twitch, keyword will be Ares 3-5. Cool. Because I'm throwing an Ares pack. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and as for D and Arpo pricing, what we're going to do is... Um, we decided that we're going to make a custom war paint and probably throw in a title as well mm -hmm. uh, for for the people that win uh, weekly. That war paint still needs to be built. <laughs> also, um, that still needs to get patched in, so we have time before we even need to build it because they're pretty quick to build. Mm -hmm. um, but once I actually have an Aries, uh, uh, a DUNR Pro War Paint. I'm going to go back and retroactively give it to everyone from this year. <clears throat> Aries 69 is not the keyword. <laughs> Aries, <laughs> it should be. My bad. I like it. People. Click awkward silence. Hit the thing. <laughs> Aries, saying Aries 7 Aries. does not double your chances. In fact, it, it makes them zero because that's not the <laughs> <laughs> It actually takes away from your yes. chances. Uh, YouTube winner one, Pimp Nizzle. Folks, show. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Pimp Nizzle. And winner two, nice. unknown mode. Nice. A no mode, not unknown. Unknown, unknown mode. Unknown mode. That's hard to say. I don't know why. Uh, Hydro. I don't know if we got your email yet. Yeah, I, I, I'd have to. I could check, but I mean, that's not here. That won't be good. Uh, that that wouldn't be good TV. Yeah. <laughs> Pimp nizzle and unknown mode. All right. Fire off two. When you're done typing there. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, Come on, Brad. Faster, fire faster. Off two. First one is Squeak and Squeak Orca. Orca. <laughs> Squeak and Orca, you get to choose Racer nice. or Rocketeer. And, and second one is Bazools. You get the uh, Ares nice. pack. Nice. Bazools gets the Ares pack. Very nice. Congrats to all the winners. Congrats to all That's... the winners. We just rapid fire. Yep. And if you guys already have that stuff, you can always give it to, to a friend, whatever. Yeah, we'll send you a someone. code. You can give it to someone if you wish or... And uh, Bazools gets the uh, Aries pack. Whenever you get home to get the code. <laughs> right. But still send us a send us a Twitch message and he'll send me yeah, yeah. send us a Twitch Twitch message saying like hey send me my Aries pack and I'll yeah. I'll get that for you. I might even have one at my desk at work. I don't know. I have to check. Possible. Oh, I think I do actually. Oh well. <clears throat> well then. Now that I think about it. So. That's that. Those are our giveaways for the week, but we're going to close it off with caption this. Every week we like to post a candid photo. Uh, last week, uh, Thunder Cleese likes to take pictures of the set. I think he does a great job with it. We really appreciate it. He takes pictures while we're on camera, and he, he took a behind the scenes, or one of the behind the scenes photos, and we posted this up on Facebook, and you guys get to caption it, and we pick our favorite ones and show them off. I wish I, there were a lot this week. I want Pez to snail mail me the card. No. <laughs> Unno is Unknown Mode giving up his prize? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I think Unknown Mode might be giving up his prize. 
Yeah, but then, then I gotta scroll up and chat. Uh, making it difficult for us. First stop. Oh yeah, Life Lady. Oh, that's, that, that's that. <laughs> that's there. <laughs> that humming. Will it ever stop? Unfortunately, no. Probably not. If it does stop, then something is broken horribly, and that's unfortunate. Because <laughs> that's the servers. Not these servers. <laughs> Look at all these people in chat. Oh, Funi dies again. Funi down. Down goes Funi. Funi. Down. down goes Funi. God, I would love to use auto tune on this fella. I knew I forgot something. I was going to record an auto tune and just be like, and play it. Well, Damn it. You failed. Unprepared. <laughs> Ground control to Major Tom. Thank you, Alex. Ground control to <laughs> yeah. Major Tom. That's a good song. Yeah, it is. I've really got a song. throttle on my keyboard. Do you have a <laughs> throttle on your keyboard? That's a good one. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> it's like it's like caps lock, but it's you got to go all the way up in all of your posts. You're like text gets bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes to eleven of <laughs> yes. my caps. Caps lock and your text gets massive. <laughs> oh my god! That's just for transitions. <laughs> Where is that bloody Terramoto sound file? <laughs> I keep telling you I need a soundboard. No. No. <laughs> you have the Wookiee book. I do have the no? Wookie I book. don't. You do. It's it's under it's uh under your other table. On the you're, you're bad at this. There you go. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Internship at Red Five. They said. Dev the game. They said. How is Pez's stream hey. dubbing? Hey, this is very important. It's glamorous work, let me tell Brad, you. Brad, this is very important. Stop, yeah, geez, stop Brad. thinking that. Come on, Brad. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> he like, looks up and looks at, wait, wait. He's like, what, wait, well, what I do, what I do, <laughs> what I do. <laughs> That's the last of it. That is the last of it. <laughs> and that is caption this. Thank you guys for participating. Um, we get some really good stuff out of there. Oh, man. So, <clears throat> ah, excuse Stop me. Stop dying. I'm trying not to. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's the show for this week. We're going to get you a guest next week. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I know who the guest will be next week. Mm. Yeah, we have a oh. happy surprise on Monday. I bet I know who the guest is next yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll have, <laughs> maybe, maybe that person will... Come, come in and be a guest for us. And that'll be a fun... I, th I think that'll you guys will be happy with that one. We need a Firefall I Reboot. Please don't make one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> we'll have guests and more stuff to talk about for sure. <laughs> and giveaways, Bye, maybe. Maybe. Thanks, all. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Welcome to the Ares Initiative, Pilot. You are an Assault Reconnaissance Extraction Specialist. You are humanity's greatest hope. The Melding has transformed the Earth. The Chosen harass our strongholds while bandits take advantage of the chaos, pushing us to the edge. The Accord is only just able to keep it together. But you can change that. Our foothold is in New Eden, but it's not enough. We're giving you the top of the line battle frames to strike back against all that threaten us. But these are just the beginning, because our enemies are getting stronger, and so must we. Hone your skills, gain combat experience, build your own armory of battle frames and master their capabilities. This is the only way we can overcome the enemy. Use what resources you can find to create weapons and enhance your battle frame. Mastering these skills will let you do more than survive. This is how you will become the ultimate weapon. Work with your fellow Ares pilots, but be aware. 
Not everyone has your interest at heart. Your journey will not be easy. The world has changed, and with it come new challenges that will test your will. But with the Ares Initiative, we can push back the melding, defeat the Chosen, and take back our planet.